JD, um, you look at your team's five-on-five five play, and Evander said, hey, we're creating chances. I think we could have had more. He feels they got to go inside a little bit more. What do you see as your assessment of the five-on-five five production so far? Yeah, you know what, I think there you look at all areas of your game, and the fact of the matter is we scored one even strength goal in two games. Um, obviously, there's a lot of chances created. There wasn't a lot of finish. I think uh, the shooting percentage at even strength is about 2%, which is you know, not our standard. Um, but you, you worry when you're not getting chances. I think we're creating chances. Uh, to Evander's point, I think in that kind of red zone area, you know, below the hash marks, we can be harder. We can, be, we can display second and third effort. Um, I think the best example of that was how we started the game last, last game with uh, Dreisaitl, Nugent Hopkins, and Hyman. It looked to me that I saw three very hungry players that were uh, willing to do what it took, get their nose dirty, burrow over the blue paint, and uh, they were rewarded. That's the, the even strength goal that we scored. So um, we're pleased with uh, the amount or volume of chances, not pleased with our finish just yet, uh, but we think we can continue to go uh, to harder areas to find success. At the same time, Jay, we've seen Connor and Leon together a little bit now. I mean, yep. uh, and obviously that's an option to you, but what, what have you seen from those two? Um, in their entire game or just when they're together? Yeah, you know what, I put them, I thought we were a little flat in the second period in Vancouver. I put them together and we liked our response. Um, we wanted to go back in game two with the lines that we started with, give everybody a, a, a second chance. Um, you know, and then we, we ended up moving some pieces around the chessboard as that game wore on. I think when they play together, um, you know, it's a dangerous combination. The results speak for themselves. Um, not only did uh, they create numerous chances when they were together, they drew a lot of penalties uh, as well. So um, you know what you're getting when those two guys are together. A little factor in the fact that lately Leon just almost scores at will against Nashville. So do you play the odds with that too? Oh, I think they're a new coach. They have new players. They have a new direction down in Nashville. You know, I think uh, past performance is a poor predictor of future performance. Uh, is that what they say in the investment world? <laughs> um, but, you know, obviously certain people feel good in certain places. I think that there's something to that. But uh, we're not hanging our hats on uh, anybody's past performance. We're looking forward to making sure we play a complete 60 minutes tomorrow night against a team that's hungry. And, and working real hard down in Nashville. I know it's just practice, but you had Fogel up on the kind of your top six. And yeah. Just a reward from what you've seen from him, or just a switch and trying to get some other combinations going. A little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both. I think Warren's shown up in a lot of chances for. Um, he's going to the right areas. It hasn't gone in for him, but um, he's going to the good spots and you know, and just mixing some things up. I think is it's a good thing. We're we're trying to find. Um, the right chemistry in order to find some of that offensive success and uh, while at the same time tidying up a few areas defensively as well. Um, Matthias Eckholm, how did you like his, his first game? I know it's, he's yeah. missed the whole training. You know, first shift, I saw him go back for a puck, uh, get a four checker on his back, spin, pop it into the the next next player. And, uh, you know, that's what we, we miss when he's not in the lineup. He has a real poise about him. But that said, he's missed a lot of time. Uh, you got to respect that and understand that, you know, he's going to continue to work his way into being who he is. Um, I'm sure that heading to Nashville is going to be an emotional time for him. Um, and I know his teammates are going to lay it on the line uh, to make sure he walks out of that building happy. You've, been in that, you've seen that a lot where a guy goes back to, to where he was. And, you know, just as you experience what's it been like. And he doesn't know what it's going to be like because he's never been traded before. Yeah. Um, you know, I think one of the better examples was when Dunks, uh, Duncan Keith went back to Chicago for that first time. And it was a very similar circumstance in that uh, he played one game before he, he was coming off an injury and, and whatnot. And, um, you know, I think, yeah, you have to go through it. You have to live it. I'm sure it's going to be an emotionally charged time for him. Uh, we want to put our focus on making sure we're playing the game the right way. Um, but, you know, I expect his best, especially in his old building. Where are you at with, the, uh, with your penalty kill? I know it was yeah. an area you were looking to, to uptick a little bit this season. What have you seen so far? Yeah, well, you know what? 
the first penalty kill goal of the year against went off someone's knee pad. Uh, so that's a tough, tough way to start. Um, you know, there was a couple of things we would have done differently in Vancouver. Um, I think uh, we went one for three last game. So it wasn't perfect, but it was a step in the right direction. It's a continued work in progress.